Hi, I'm Arielle with the Hawaiian Feathered Friends Network Club, and we're here to rescue these birds. Um, they've been in um, pretty bad conditions for a while, and a few of them are a little bit sick. Um, and now they're going to get vet care, and we are going to have them sent to a beautiful macaw sanctuary where they will get all the care they need and they will live in a beautiful aviary with room and fresh fruits and vegetables and all the care and love and freedom they need. Um, they're amazing, beautiful, smart animals and they need an amount of care a lot of people can't or don't know how to give them. Um, education's the key, when you're gonna get an animal, the amount of research that you should do before getting into buying the animal or having the animal is ridiculous. Um, it, it takes so much to give these animals what they need and it's not, it's not, it shouldn't be a decision entered into lightly. This is a lifetime commitment. Some of these birds can live 80 to 100 years. Um, from my understanding, the woman inherited these birds, so it was kind of just thrown upon her, um, not something that she chose. And we have, to, we have to think about that when we get some of these birds, if they're going to outlive me, maybe even my children, who's going to take care of these birds when we pass away? Well, we started um, with a friend of the club, a member of our club's father finding out about the situation this woman and her birds were in. Um, and then we came out here to evaluate them. And then apparently she's been trying to sell them for a while, but they're in really bad condition, so it was hard to sell. Um, so we came out here and evaluated, met with the woman after our member had met with her. And then we saw what we would have to do and we had to convince them, uh, convince her to allow us to rescue the birds. We did have to purchase them. Um, they are considered property of Hawaiian Feathered Friends at the moment until we um, release them to the Macaw Sanctuary.